Now, I get many questions uh, on YouTube about materials and how to use them. And recently I got asked uh, by a gentleman about Condor Substitute. Uh, basically what he bought was this here, Substitute Condor from, from Vineyards. And what this is, it's actually just turkey feathers. White turkey dyed. Now these are really good feathers. If you look through the packets you'll get some really nice, nice feathers. This is a good olive, nice colour, as you can see, uh, which can be used in many so, uh, nymph patterns or so, and dries even, which I'm going to be tying. I'm going to tie a nymph and a dry. Now, as well, it's worthwhile looking through. There's many other brighter colours, like obviously reds, orange, yellows, purple, there's black, uh, and these can be used to tie classic salmon flies. Now, if you get a good feather, you can use the right and the left side, and this one's actually very good. Though it's olive, uh, it's not ideal for the classic flies, but uh, it's certainly a good uh, feather to use for that. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to tie a small nymph. Uh, this is very simple, and uh, this is a fly here. It's just a basic wee olive nymph. And uh, hook I'm using, it's an all-purpose medium hook from Full and Mill, size 14. Thread I'm going to be using the Light Cahill uh, 80 from Uni. Now I have waxed the thread a wee bit at the beginning. I'm going to work the thread down. Now I'm not going to add any weight to this fly. You could quite easily add a bit of lead or even fine wire to sort of boost up, uh, boost up the, the weight. Now just take a thread to the point, or to the barb, sorry, the hook. And we tie in some tail fibres. Now these are it's just a cream hackle, cheap cock hackle. Nice fine fibres, got a lovely creamy yellow at the tip which I'm going to use for the tail. I pull out a few fibres. Looking for a tail length round about, say, two thirds of the body. Just hold them. Come on. Now I, I basically have the waist ends towards myself. Come over with a turn now. See this turn? This turn is actually onto the bare hook. And then keeping hold of the tail fibres, come underneath them with a turn of thread. Let them go and then come up and then pull towards the eye. And this will fan out the fibres, as you can see. Uh, it makes for a nice, nice wee tail. You can spread them a wee bit more. Now you leave your thread at that point. Trim this two thirds of the body, which is there. Now I'm going to use a fine copper wire for the rib. Extra small anyway. Now turn to hold. Then we get our condor. Now this, with being turkey, four strands for this fly size is fine. Just tear it away, just make sure the ends are lined up. And what I like to do is come round with a single turn, so there's the thicker part of the fibres, and then pull this into the fine tips, all the way in to this point, and then work our way up. Now it's worth putting a wee bit of wax on your thread at this point, and make sure everything's nice and tight. Nothing will slip. Now we take this three quarters of the way up, meaning the shank, say to that point there. Then I'm going to wind the condor substitute towards myself. It's building the body up. As you can see, it makes for a lovely body. And that being turkey, it's got a long fibre, you can really build up the body. Keep going until you get to your thread. Come across your substitute, then a turn onto the hook. Again, and that locks them in. Now what we want to do is bring our copper wire up. It's two, three. Coming into the fourth turn, what I normally like to do is catch the material on the top. And then just keep going up to get to the thread. Now do a turn at the thread, come up and then tie it off. Now this space allows you to tie in either a hackle, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this is dyed dyed olive hairs mask which I've removed from the mask and then blended just get a nice dubbing so you get a right mix of natural fibres slightly dub it onto your thread and then we can do like basically half the thorax with the dubbing now don't be shy with the material you'll see the fine it's a guard here springing away from the dubbing. That's what you're looking for. Take away the excess. 
Now you want to end up with the thread at the front. Just stroke back any fibres going forward with your fingers and do a turn to lock them away. There you go. Now, what I like to then do is a Velcro. Just brush it back. And then we bring over a Condor substitute for our thorax cover. Catch it on the top. Nice and tight. Just a wee bit of wax on your thread. A couple of turns or so. You can fold this back and then build up a head. Nice and tight. And then what finish. Just ignore everything at this point. See, so it's a very simple nymph. We can then trim away the thread, trim away the waste. And there we are. That's a very simple nymph pattern. Any long fibres we don't want, we can always pull them away. Then all we have to do is put a wee bit of varnish on the head. Now you could colour the head up with a Pantone pen or something to darken it down. But I actually find the, the light k hill works extremely well, so I just leave it. All the way around. Just, you'll quite well catch the odd wee fibre, but don't worry. You can always clean it up. Use your, I'm using my dubbing needle to take away any excess varnish. Clean the eye out. And there we are. Basic, basic nymph. Very simple. Blends well. The body, as you can see, blends well into the dubbing. And obviously with the fine guard hairs from the mask, you can see, gives the impression of legs. Now, from this I'm going to be tying a small comparison. I practically use the same materials. We changed to a dry fly hook though. We changed to a, an ultimate dry fly. In this case it's a size 14. This one here. So again it's from Fully Mill. It's a barbless hook this one. Let's go into my vise. Just level the shank up. Tighten up. Let's start with thread at the eye. Then we work our way down. So halfway, remove the waist, then I'm going to come back up, you position the wing, bring the thread halfway back up, just there. Now the road here, as you can see, it's quite dark, you can use a lighter colour if you want. This is a good colour combination at the beginning of the season. Now we must remove the fine under fuff from the, the deer here, so you can stack it. Now we've got a medium sized stacker, I'm just going to put the tips first in. Tap it on my desk. You can see the ends are lined up. We can remove it from the stacker. Now it's important that you put a bit of wax on your thread. You need the grip. Length, you're looking at least the shank length, tied forward. Nice pinching loop. Come down nice and tight. Do three turns. Then we start to work our way down. Now I like to break away the deer here, so we just tear it. Just keep working the thread and it will go. Then we can take away any one, any fibres we missed. Just look at the position of the deer here. We want to make sure it's not far enough back. There's enough room at the head, you need a good couple of mil at the head area. If we're happy with that then we can carry one down. Again a wee bit of wax on at this point. Work our thread to the end of the shank. Again, we're going to use the cream coloured cock fibres for the tail. Tail length, at least the hook length. Tie this on, hold the tail on your finger and thumb, waist towards yourself. Now this turns, I say, just on the shank but onto the bare hook. And then keeping hold of the tail, bring the thread underneath. Now once you're by the tail, let the fibres go. Bring this turn towards the eye. And then we can tighten up. And this here will lift. Separate the fibres a wee bit better. Trim this the length basically to this point, just where the taper comes from off the deer here. Now to protect the body, I'm going to use the same copper wire, extra small copper wire. Catch this on. 
Now you'll get this from like UTC or even Uni. Just a turn to hold. Get our condor substitute. Looking around, three fibres is enough for the, the body of the fly. Again, I'm going to basically a turn round at the thickest part of the fibres, slide it to the fine tips, and then work my way up. Nice and tight. See how things look. It's not too bad, but what I'm going to do is come down a wee bit. I'll say two thirds of the way and come back up. Help with the taper of the body. Okay, now I'm going to do the same as what I did with the nymph. I'm going to wind the condor substitute towards myself and then just build the body up. Just work your way up. I'm going to tie off the same way. Basically, go across the condor substitute with the turn and the turn on the hook. Do it again. Maybe fibers to make sure they're out of the way. That's enough. Now when you bring your wire up, it's going to cross over the condor substitute with uh, with the turns. You're looking around, say 45 turns, and this will hold it in. It's the wire that's doing the job there. Secure in the wire, and then we can bend and break it away. It's a neat cut when you do that. Now back to our Stubbing again, same we use for the thorax of the nymph. But here's mass tied olive. Again, don't be shy with it, just put it on. Slide it up. And then get some of the D here, go through it a couple of turns. We just keep working up, but then every so often tighten up the dubbing. This helps spread the fibre. Now this last turn, just make sure the D hair is on top. Bring your dubbing to the front and then even winding the thread through it. We quick look to see how it's how the material is sitting. That looks okay, happy with that. And then tiny bit of dubbing on your thread. Eh, sorry, varnish. And then whip finish. The varnish will basically secure the whip finish really well. Three or four turns. And then trim away your thread. And there we are, and that's your compara done. Fly tied with the same material, same even the same tail material, whatever the only difference is the deer here. And uh, as you can see, this is couple of nice flies you could easily fish together, you could hang this nymph below the dry, you can fish them individually, it's up to yourself. So as I say quite simple to tie. Uh, if you want to bring some of the dubbing out you can get a wee bit of velcro and do that. Use the brush at either side and there we are. And that's two nice flies using the condor substitute.